What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This one's a little bit different. We're not in the garage. We're in my house, computer station. And uh, by the title of this video, you can tell that uh, this one's about my camera bag and what I kind of use if I was going out and just doing a simple shoot. I have a lot of other equipment. Um, well, I wouldn't say a lot of other equipment. I'm still building, starting, figuring things out and whatnot. Uh, so I'm kind of doing this video because uh, if you go back to my first video that I did almost a year ago, actually a year ago this month, uh, which is going to be a special video coming out for that. But um, I had talked about how I enjoy cameras and camera equipment and uh, stuff that goes along with that. So this is kind of a start to it all a year later, but here we go better late than never So like I said, this is what is in my camera bag 2020 So start off simple. Uh, this is the first camera bag. I got um, It's a cheap Amazon buy. I think I got it for Christmas uh, a couple years ago so It's not too much to look at there's not too much to it. There are two uh, stretchy pockets on either side. Usually I'll keep like a uh, battery charger or batteries or tripod mounts um, in here. Um, looks like there's a couple straps here on either side too. I never really use them. Uh, I am actually currently looking for a new bag because I'd like one with a side access um, door so that I could pull my camera out very easily instead of having to open the entire thing. But anyway, this one works well. So let's open it up and see what we got going on. All right, so this one does uh, is compartmental uh, compartmentalized. Uh, they are customizable. They're all just velcroed in there. I believe when you get the camera bag uh, It has nothing in here all the dividers and whatnot are just laying inside and you can configure it however you want uh, Which I have done multiple multiple times of how I have everything and What I have in here currently is not always what I will bring it depends on what the event I'm going to and whatnot But this is a super super basic setup that if I just wanted to go out and enjoyably shoot can so with that being said the first thing we're going to start with is the camera I typically use uh, it is the Canon T3i Rebel T3i it is super old at this point uh, I think they are on Canon T7i or at least 6i so it's a little outdated uh, I plan on upgrading to a Sony potentially uh, but I just don't have the, the money or the funds for that so this gets the job done I really enjoy this camera it is super awesome uh, for what it the purpose it serves for me I really like the flip out screen and fully you know the flip design for facing towards you and whatnot makes it really really easy uh, this is actually what I started the YouTube channel on initially vlogging with and what you guys are watching currently is on the Canon G7X so I made the jump to that for my vlogging and stuff like that and I've tried to uh, change up the way I film that I do my b-roll and other things with this camera now so the main lens then that I use which is on the camera which, uh, is a Tamron 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Uh, it's kind of like my workhorse lens uh, because it has such a broad telephoto uh, range, which I super love. The glass is super huge for it. And uh, I just enjoy the uh, telephoto range that I have. Uh, so that's why I use that one a lot. I also carry in here my uh, strap. I normally don't use this, but if I ever need it, I like to have it. And I always did not like having to 
um, hook everything through the loops on the camera to be able to use it. So to better suit me, I went to my local uh, hobby store and I got little tiny clips. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna focus. I got little tiny clips and I got a little bit of elastic and I sewed the other end of the clip on there so I can clip on, clip off the strap and make it a DIY um, quick release. So I super enjoy that. When I need to use it, it's easy to use and hook up. And if I don't need to use it, which is most of the time, it's fine, just stay in the bag. So then let's go over to uh, my first piece of audio. I have the Rode VideoMic Pro. Uh, I kind of wish I would have went up to the VideoMic Pro Plus uh, just because really the only thing is because it has the feature of uh, when the camera turns on, it turns on. So you don't have to accidentally forget that this is on. This I have to turn on myself. Uh, but besides that, everything the Pro Plus has, this has as well. That's the only uh, different feature. It might actually have a little bit of a different dB or um, um, a high or low pass thing, I believe. But I kind of wish I would have went with the, the bigger one, but at the time I only had the money for this one. So I am still happy with this. The VideoMic Pro is super awesome. So I really, really enjoy this. So that's always in my bag. Then let's go through some other lenses. Uh, when I got the Canon T3i, it comes with a kit lens because uh, I got a bundle pack. Um, I no longer use that kit lens because the um, autofocus has completely died on it. it. It will not autofocus, it's only manual focus and I, I really don't like that anymore. So that is uh, why I ended up getting the Tamron uh, 24 to 70 lens to try to um, give me back some of that smaller range because the other lens that I have is uh, Canon's 55 to 250 lens and that is like super long which is awesome which I use this a lot for uh, my drift events and whatnot so that I can be far enough away from the track to be able to zoom in to be able to get those uh, nicer um, close-up shots so uh, not having the kit lens for those lower um, photo range really put me at a little bit of a damper for using my camera as much so that's why I went with the 24 to 70 but I'd still like to get like a 16 to 35 millimeter uh, lens because I'd like that um, wide angle if I could so then the last lens that I have uh, is also a, um, as I call it, a nifty 50, 50 millimeter Canon lens. I don't use this as much as I probably should. I used it in the beginning. I'd like to use it more. Um, I'm trying to kind of get back into using my camera equipment a little bit more. So doing this video is hopefully going to spike some of that a little bit more. Um, then in this pocket, I have my variable ND filters uh, which I also do not use as much of but I need to use more of. This one here is for the Tamron lens because it is a bigger lens size and then this one here is for uh, most of my other lenses. Both ND filters, both really awesome. Um, Alright so then I also have a Tascam DR05 uh, handheld recorder. This is for being able to, because I do a lot of um, automotive uh, work and whatnot, I like to be able to pick up sounds using this, which again, I'd really like to do more of uh, in the coming months and whatnot, once events come back into play. Uh, I made my own little windscreen cat up top again went to my local hobby store picked up fuzz and picked up elastic sewed everything together put it on top works absolutely awesome I super enjoy this thing it's it it helps out a lot for picking up uh, 
sound that you normally can't get. And then that brings us to uh, my Gorilla Pod. Uh, I absolutely love this because you can put it anywhere. And this is actually what I started vlogging with. Um, I used, you know, stuck this out there, stuck the camera on there and uh, got at it, got at videoing and whatnot. Uh, this thing's super beat up. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, grossness on it because I keep it, <laughs> I use it at the garage and well, I used it at the garage for a while when I first started the channel. Um, but now uh, the Canon G7X came with a Manfrotto mini pod. So I use that with the Canon uh, more. So this one doesn't get used as much, but I, I, I really do still enjoy that piece of equipment. I use it a lot. And then the camera bag also has two zip compartments at the top. I just keep cables, uh, other mounts and uh, instruction booklets or anything I need and the bottom one and then the top one I usually keep my SD cards, my extra batteries, um, my I also have in here my lens pen which is awesome and I highly suggest everybody get one because they are super great when you got that little tiny smudge on your lens and you just need to clean it up. So there's not a lot in here, uh, but for a simple shoot, this is probably what I would bring. I would, um, I like I said, I don't, I'm in the search for another backpack that has a compartment that sits about here or here so I can easily get the camera out the side. I don't use this one as much just because it's it's not an ease of access for me to be able to pull the camera out and put it away without taking the entire backpack off, which I don't really like. So nine times out of 10, I end up using, I have a side shoulder sling pack that I end up just putting my camera in. Maybe I'll put another lens in. I'll definitely put my uh, video mic pro in there and then I'll uh, usually take the gorilla pod and I'll put it through the top little uh, handheld loop and that'll kind of be my carry go to take it with me so I can just open the flap up pull the camera out do what I got to do put it away if I need to put it away um, because when I'm at events and stuff like that things are happening really really fast and uh it's just nice to not be like carrying the camera around that god forbid something were happen where i would trip fall or who knows i don't want to end up breaking my equipment if it's in my bag and it's safely away i feel a lot better about it that i can have a little bit more movement and freedom with myself so i'm looking for another book bag i actually was looking at uh peter mckinnon's uh backpack that he teamed up with nomadic to make probably one of the most ideal travel camera backpacks. However, I don't think that's gonna work so well for what I'm currently trying to do. So I'm just looking for something else right now, but I definitely will probably be picking that backpack up and the entire bundle with it uh, eventually down the road. So, like I said, this is just a start with this video. Um, I do want to show you guys uh, all my other camera equipment that I have and I've talked about it before kind of what I have but to be able to show you guys so this way that I can help somebody else out who you know might be trying to start either YouTubing or doing videos in general at least you can see what I have where I started with and where I think uh, maybe you should buy here and save up for something here uh, so if you guys have any questions or comments on any of the gear that I use uh, you know please leave it down in the comment section or DM me on my Instagram account so with that being said I hope you guys are staying safe wash your hands stay at home only go out if you absolutely need to and give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw if you are not a subscriber, subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell button so you know exactly when I put another video out and can join the adventure. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.